so see many that. stories of these guys from the last cycle that made pulled out 10 20 30 million dollars out of hex and they're broke now they're just they're, they, they lost everything like for one way or the other they just they screwed everything up and now they're gonna have to watch in pain as this thing goes up without them you're basically resetting the entire chart from back here all over again minus ni minus 99 percent 10,000 X well here we are minus 99 percent well is it gonna do crazy numbers I would I would argue yeah I would say yeah it's gonna it's gonna do it <laughs> um, let's look at the uh, fib once let's just look at the fib because that'll be fun um, perfect textbook textbook retracement back to this the, the 618 it's right here this is a harmonic level you see the you see the fibonacci sequence play out in nature all the time and it's no different for human psychology and it's no different for markets which are a function of human psychology this thing ran up like crazy made and then it came back down and it when hex launched it was like somewhere up in here and it went down minus 99 percent but you can't see that data because it happened right at launch on a in an exchange called buy desk we don't have that data on this chart but that's what happened and so you're just replaying that out on a longer time frame with many more users this time and so when you really look at this thing we're somewhere in this general range down in here we haven't even broken out of this ascending triangle structure yet and so like i think when it comes to hex staking i come there's two camps i, I see hex as like uh it's a dual value proposition you should either be thinking I have a lot of money. I can put a lot of money in hex and stake it for 30 to 90 days and roll it and earn that 9% APY and have that opportunity cost to buy and sell and trade on a very regular basis and actively manage that position. Or there's the other end of it completely, which is like the 401k for the future, which is retail guys that want to bring in money and outpace the other guys with, in, with inflation and, and no stress. And just to have that perpetual 15 year stakes coming off when the price of this thing goes up here and we're trading at like multi-dollar targets um, at this bull cycle. And then we bottom out next cycle at potentially, you know, 30 cents, 50 cents, like it's going to be a lot different, right? The yields you'll get on a rolling stake at, at 20, 30, 40 cents is a lot. It's 40 X higher than the yield you're getting today in dollar terms. And the, why is this possible? Well, it's because, possible because Green candles are a motherfucker and it makes people come in and play with the system and trade it and chase it. And, and when, as Metcalf's law takes hold and you go from 130,000 stakers to potentially 1.3 million stakers, a 10 X in users means, um, a hundred X the price, I think 10 times 10. Yeah. So a hundred X the price, if you just get a million stakers. So, I mean, a hundred X right now, I mean, that's a dollar, right? So it's it's powerful it's powerful the potential here for this thing to um not only just do well for you in the short term but long term give you a position you'll never be able to get again it's like the early days of bitcoin you can't go back and buy bitcoin at a dollar or ten dollars or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars you have to buy it at uh, above like thirty thousand dollars now forever like it's not going any lower so you might as well secure your positions now you know I love Hex. I think it's I definitely every opportunity I can. I, I think it's where Pulse Chain, you know, came and and uh, Pulse X and all the products and Yield Farms and all this ecosystem has grown so much. It does tend to get forgotten, but it is it is the king. It's the best product. It's my favorite, and uh, I'm glad we have an ecosystem for it to thrive in and liquidity bonding. To hopefully, uh, man, there's some there's some glory days that could be had there with that man. But regardless of I mean, yeah, we can go in many different directions with T-Terrors and otherwise, but um, Hex, did you, Axis, did you have a, did you have a, you said price target for Hex the other day? I can't remember. I thought you tweeted something interesting about that. Um, yeah, give me a second. Let me pull some stuff up. Uh, I just have some charts. It's moon math, guys. It's not reality. It's not, doesn't have to be reality. It really depends on how good you guys are at onboarding the next 10 million users into Hex, honestly. But uh, if, if we're successful in that, and uh, Hex just plays out just like the second second cycle of Bitcoin. Um, we could be seeing, uh, you know, $8 e-Hex 
potentially combined price sometime by um oh this would be ehex eight dollars by may of 2026 just same repeating the same fractal at the same rate um the first 15 year stakes would be coming off here on this yellow line let me get my drawings up oh that broke i don't know why that broke hmm. um this would be the 15 year stakes and it, i mean it's projecting a price of between 150 to 300 dollars a hex by 2035 if it's even just a buck 60 that's 160x higher and you earned anywhere from five to six hundred percent apy so you have five or six times the coins at 160x so 160 times five is Or a dollar sixty, I mean, dollar sixty times five. Or no, I was right. Eight hundred x. You could have an eight hundred x if you stake if you have a fifteen year ladder and we're at a buck sixty. Nobody nobody gets it because everyone's like stuck in like seeing this number here for like that was here for two weeks and then down here and th and a lot of people have lost the vision, um, the vocal ones anyways. And, and this is like what could happen. It doesn't need to happen. It could happen at a lot slower of a rate, but all of this is just bullish. Like, there's nothing bearish about Hex. Like, people that are bearish on Hex are missing the point. Like, the, the APYs are locked in immutable code and unchangeable. And this is just a repeat. If we were to repeat out the same Hex cycles we just did, we had that same big-ass move off the bottom of that triangle, some chop, and then we start breaking out and chewing through to 3 to $0.05 cent levels, I mean, the Ethereum guys are going to pile in on this trade because it's an automatic trade setup. It's perfect. This setup right here. This is uh, this is something that is a trader. You know, there's a there's billions of dollars on Ethereum guys. Like, as a trader, they're looking at nice structure, low, higher, low, higher, low, three rising valleys of of, of a certain sentiment, holding the uh, 111 day as support. This is just the beginning of a move that targets like anywhere from two to three cents on this next on this next pump. And, uh, you know, man, I just I don't know how people can miss this stuff. Like I look at this stuff every day, so I obviously I'm not going to miss it, but it's a perfect setup. You got you could you can leverage the T-shares and you can or you could just trade it like it more and more people are going to pile into this thing and, and accept it. That's just the inevitability because of that immutable code, man. And the price performance is what's going to draw people in. Um, and yeah. the products built up on it too. I mean, just you didn't even touch on all the derivatives. Um, all the Hedron and Icosa V2 coming. Uh, all the perpetuals. Yeah, pool party. Dude, pool party. So there's plenty of other things built on it that also adds value to it. Um, kind of get that same fractal here from the combined hex price, which would predict like a a similar you know like eight to tw I, I think eight to twelve dollars is for combined hex is definitely within the realm of possibility assuming we get you know more user adoption so if stakers go from one hundred and thirty thousand to 1.3 million uh those numbers are easy to hit 100 percent, especially with hex because a lot of that supply is going to get locked up when the price is at its most extremes so many new people are going to get in and want a piece of the action and they're chasing that yield and why well we have proof of concept with bitcoin it's called bitcoin mining that's where i came from guys bitcoin mining i did that so i understand the economics of why bitcoin has any value at all and the reason is because there's a thing called a carrot on a stick i don't know if you ever heard of that well the carrot on the stick for bitcoin was the bitcoin rewards and anytime that the price came up or anytime that, so the hash rate started moving up ahead of schedule because you could get bitcoins and bitcoins had any value at all well hex has any value at all it's a penny on one chain and it's one point or it's two cents on the other chain so that has any value at all so that means that the yield is paying somebody something by the way there's like 1.6 billion dollars locked up in hex on one of the chains so that's that that's your that's the foundation right the table has been set now the hash rate here you could assume that that's kind of like the yield that's paid out or the t-share rate as it, it sends over time well, then the price actually has to chase the yield 
So it, because it creates that carrot on the stick, that something to go after. Like my my dollars are going to make me more in hex, and they're going to make me sitting in my bank account. So that's like on a yield on a world starved for yield, you got to do something. Well, why not get some hex and just be guaranteed to get more units, you know? Um, and then you know as the market cycle tops and price declines, you do see like a delay effect where hash rate goes sideways, but the carrot is still there and it creates a price floor. And that would be like the equivalent of the T-share stabilizing and dollar price. And then uh, eventually the carrot's still there. So in the next wave, there's a trade down here, then the investor class gets in, then the hype wave, and it just repeats all over again and again and again and again. And this is the future of Hex and you're just seeing it here Bitcoin was our proof of concept. Now we have a better version. In Hex, I can buy a unit of a coin and get the mining equipment at the same time. In Bitcoin, you have to go spend dollars or Bitcoin to, to lose those to lose that value to get the equipment, hope that you plug it in in time, hope that your costs don't exceed your profits, and then hope that you can get out of the thing with your skin on your back. Whereas in Hex, you get both the mining equipment and the unit the, the crypto at the same time so you don't have to risk losing on one side of the trade it's amazing technology like it's the best thing that since sliced bread and four years of flawless operation too on top of it mad gains flawless operation immutable code like yep. go it's on always, it's on. always there working for you you never have to worry about it it's it's that's that's it's it's, it's genius there's no doubt about it of what was built Best founder, best community. Good on the list. I mean, again, I hope there's a lot of new people listening and they have become excited about crypto recently because we've been covering this stuff for years and uh, it's only been getting better uh, in so many different ways and metrics and otherwise. And Hex starts with Hex.